Suppose you are hiring an outside salesperson for your team in the advertising business. The basic requirements for this position will be to develop new accounts by creating new relationships, maintaining existing accounts by continuing to grow and develop the relationship, and find ways to build bridges to accounts which have left the business for various reasons. My advice is to look for traits that have a significant impact on that particular position. For example, right off the bat you can tell that a person with low social need is probably going to fail when it comes to developing new relationships. The person's sensitivity should be in the mid-range, allowing them to empathize adequately with their clients, but not so much that it becomes too difficult for them to accept rejection. If the job is going to pay in commission, make sure that the candidate has a high level of recognition. If they don't, your compensation system will not fit the needs of the candidate, and when that happens, attrition is imminent. Assertiveness. Again, if they are too low on assertiveness, then the candidate will be likely to be too timid to ask for the sale or ask for the close. And in an, in an industry such as advertising, asking for the sale is paramount to success. Finally, there's competitiveness. Everyone wants to be a team player, but if your applicant does not have the high level of competitiveness, then don't expect them to succeed in outside sales for very long. The constant pressure of hitting goals and seeing their name on the rankings too close to the bottom of the list will eventually get the best of them, and it won't be long before they begin looking elsewhere for employment. Finding a person's extreme personality traits can be the difference between hiring your next exit interview and hiring your next employee of the year. So ignore them at your own peril. For more tips on using advanced psychometrics, to create your dream team in your industry, go to www.hirewellnow.com.